Mum to be Megan reveals how she's coping with her pregnancy that's like having jet lag and keeping her up at night, and why she doesn't miss social media. The Duchess of Sussex has spoken of her newfound freedom after ditching social media, while also confessing to taking up yoga as pregnancy is rather like jet lag. Megan, 37, told royal fans on Bondi Beach that she had been doing yoga at 4.30am on Friday to try to combat her tiredness. She talked about her experiences as an expectant mother in an anti-bad vibe circle on the iconic beach as she and Prince Harry met surfers to discuss mental health issues. Charlotte Connell, 35, who is 23 weeks pregnant, and is the mother of Finn, too, said, Meghan told me that pregnancy was like having jet lag. She said she was up up at 4.30 am this morning doing yoga in her room as she couldn't sleep. It's a bit of a double whammy for her, she said, as she has both the baby and the jet lag to content with. We both talked about how you feel jet lagged even though you have not traveled anywhere. Even in her jet lag she got up to do yoga this morning at 4.30. Physical activity like yoga and surfing is so good for healing your mind. The Duchess talking to members of the tight-knit community, also revealed her trepidation with social media, particularly its effect on young people's self-image. The couple traveled to the beach, one of Australia's most famous landmarks, to meet a local community surfing group known as One Wave. It was founded by Grant Trebilco who suffered from mental health issues for a decade but felt unable to talk about them. He was eventually diagnosed as being bipolar and hospitalized. When he came out, he said surfing was his savior and he finally felt able to open up to his closest friends, who were incredibly sympathetic to him and also shared issues of their own. He has now created Fluoro Fridays where people dress up in fluorescent clothes and go to the beach, with the aim of fostering an atmosphere where others can open up about their own mental health issues. Harry and Meghan who was wearing a sleeveless Martin Grant dress with espadrille tie wedges, were both given brightly colored lays, garlands of flowers, to put round their necks in order to enter into the spirit of things. Accompanied by Treble Co., they kicked off their shoes on the edge of the beach and walked barefoot to sit in a group with some of the colorfully dressed surfers. The couple spent around 10 minutes listening to the experiences of other members of the group and sharing their own, laughing and putting their arms around each other. Jessina Oakes, 26, of Bondi, said she spoke mainly to the Duchess. She mentioned that she practices yoga, she said. She said it helps ground her and she tries to find the time to make it part of her daily routine. Oakes also spoke to Meghan about the dangers of social media, particularly its effect on young people's self-image. She said a really beautiful quote. She said flattery and criticism run through the same filter. She said it was very freeing that she no longer has social media. And just how great one wave is making those connections with people and being able to support one another. Trebilco, 37, of Bondi said the couple's openness about mental health would help people around the world. To have the Duke and Duchess down at Fluoro Friday helped make mental health visible around the world, he said. And it let people know that mental health doesn't discriminate. One thing that really stood out for me was that Prince Harry said asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. Mental health is invisible. You can't see when people are struggling. Wearing the bright fluoro helps start conversations that never usually happen around mental health. It reduces that barrier. Those bright colors show we can make it visible and we don't have to go through it alone. Dabri Eulick Whale, 37, said afterwards, Oh my goodness, they were just so real, so relatable. They shared their own experiences which was amazing. Harry said seeking help was the best thing he had ever done. He was really open and honest. He said it doesn't matter who you open up to, they don't have to be professional. Anyone can be there for you. It could be your best mate or a stranger. You just need to open up to them. She added, they talked about the strangeness of their own situation and the lives they lead but that at the end of the day they are just real people. They are just human beings. They said they were just like us and that people say lots of positive things to you and then they say one negative thing, and that's what gets you down. Megan said how she did yoga at 4.30 this morning because of the jet lag. She says she is feeling okay. Not too bad. They said they hadn't really had time to settle down and get their heads around thing, and they have another 70 odd engagements to go. After the circle, the royals walked over to a group practicing yoga. Nyo Pendiatovsky, 25, said, 
Megan said it was her leveler, it's what keeps her grounded, like surfing does for us. She said it was her escape. Chatting with another group of surfers, Harry said he had never waxed a board before, so he and Megan both had a go. Surf instructor Sam Schumacher, 31, said the couple both revealed they had surfed, adding, the circle time was great. Two or three of us shared our personal stories. This visit will really raise the profile of what we are trying to do and the fact that mental health doesn't discriminate. It can affect anyone and that we all need to try and look after each other. I can see the passion in their eyes. Trebilko said the couple had been so nice, so friendly. Stuart Cleese, 34, of Bondi, said, Harry shared his views on mental health towards everyone. He's a big believer in normalizing the conversation around mental health. He feels fortunate that he's in a position to get the right people together to spread that message. He's a big supporter of small community groups like One Wave. Prince Harry talked to the group about his own issues with mental health. He said he's seen a couple of counselors before and never found one that suits him. Klee said he's a big believer in having normal conversations with normal people. He was pretty genuine, real honest, real open, real relaxed. He wasn't trying to put on a show. He was really genuine in the way he came across. As she left, Megan told the group that she was loving her first experience of Australia. It is so great to be here, she said.